We're here with the chef of the team. Can you introduce yourself? Of course. I'm uh, Bram Lippens, Belgium Flemish guy. Third year on um, NTT Plus Cycling now. And going full gas. And how did you uh, come about being the chef of this team? I was uh, looking long time to come in cycling. Long, long, long time. And then I saw a uh, job ad. Assistant uh, chef wanted. And I responded. And Tom, uh, Tom, he pulled me on the team. And then he went to service crews and I took uh, the chef place in. Okay. Uh, we are here in uh, the beautiful, beautiful Luca. It's amazing here. But the kitchen is not the accommodation you are used to. It's, you... A, you know, it's a household kitchen. It's a really nice kitchen. It's lovely. I wanted in my house. It wouldn't fit in my actually kitchen space, but so I'm used with the kitchen truck. We have everything we need and we are separated. Now we have a commune house. It's nice. There's always uh, things going on, many people passing by. It, uh, it's a nice atmosphere, but to work, actually doing the cooking part sometimes is, is difficult, but we manage. Can you give us a quick tour? I go. We're now cleaning up for lunch, trying to clean up for lunch. And we got a uh, double, double dagger, eight bits on the production. Two dishwashers, big clothes, uh, clothes uh, you call this? Closets. Closets. <laughs> oh, a lot of wine. A lot of wine glasses. <laughs> That uh, we don't use. Really big fridge. Wow. And there is a big freezer. There's another fridge. Four ovens, two steaming. And we got the big storage room there. That you cannot see it through the wall. <laughs> we got the gun front and skip. <laughs> and in there we have all the dry, the dry stuff. In that uh, little shack. Dry stuff. And we rented uh, two extra fridges and one extra freezer. But big ones just to put everything inside. And how many people are you preparing meals for? Uh, every day? 55. So the, we are here um, 27 riders or 26 riders. And then all the rest is uh, staff. Uh, and the rider actually eats for two, so let's say 70 people. <laughs> That's a big... Uh, and you get, you get a lot of help? I get uh, constantly help. Which is really necessary because I wouldn't, couldn't pull it alone. The food, only the food I can do alone, but then there is a cleaning up this, that. Huh. Okay, so man. We are one team, we do it together. We talk, uh, we talk later. Camera oh. in your face. Better in my face, not me. In your ass, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Camera in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bram, yes. breakfast is ending. Finally. Uh, <laughs> Finally, long, long breakfast. No, it's not five o'clock. I don't know what time is it, but it's okay. Yeah. I think it's almost nine. Yeah. What did we? Uh, what did the guys have for breakfast this morning? They had uh, porridge, water based, only oats and water. Apple beignets, gluten free, fruit salad, uh, smoothie, some omelets, ham and cheese, or whatever they want. And then they fill up with bread and cheese and yogurt and coffee. Okay. What's on the planning for the rest of the day for you? <laughs> <laughs> Pool, poolside? A little bit. Yeah. After the day, I want a little bit different because if you go on a long ride, after they all go together and uh, to watch the final of the Swift through the France, and uh, they will be back late, so uh, they don't need to cook lunch. Something small we put together: some toast, some fruit salad, small beer. Yeah. <laughs> because 8 o'clock then is dinner again, so it's okay. for me more or less it's actually finally. Top man. Thanks.